Hi everyone, my name is Nick and today I'm going to show you guys how to set up groups within Microsoft Outlook. This is an incredibly useful feature if you want to set up um, groups of individuals that you communicate with on a regular basis. And um, If you find this video useful then you know what to do and with all that said let's jump on over to Microsoft Outlook. Okay, here we are just inside Outlook and the first thing that we're going to need to do is actually just head over to the top left hand side here and it says new items. What we're going to do is just choose the drop down menu from here and click on group. Okay, from here we're going to have this dialog box up here and this is where we're going to set up the group email address and a name for the group. So I'm just going to call this that office guy. Um, and then the email address will automatically try to populate it from the um, name that we've given it. However, this is not available. So for me, I'm just going to change this to um, test. Um, and then that's going to give us a nice tick here. And it says test at thatofficeguy.com. Okay, then we get a few other options. We can give it a description. Um, so I can just say this is a test group. Okay, um, and then I can have sensitivity. Now from here, this uh, isn't actually available. I've got nothing to select from here. So to, um, normally you'll be able to uh, apply some sensitivity if you need to. Um, from privacy, um, only approved members can see. Uh, if we make it public, then uh, everyone inside the organization can see the group contents. Um, but I'm gonna make it for members only. Okay, and then I can send uh, all group email and event uh, to members inboxes uh, they can change this setting later um, and under more settings we just have the language here um, so nothing really too much to say about that uh, if I can try to find if there's anything uh, closer than the United States and there isn't so that is fine I can just leave that one um, I can hop back and then I can just click on the create button just here that then creates the group for me. Now I get to add members, okay? Um, so I can add colleagues, Office 365 groups, um, other distribution lists or guests. So I'm just going to add in here um, Nick uh, at that office guy um, and there I am. I'm going to add me into that list and then I'm also just going to add uh, Chris um, at that office guy.com and press enter on that one and add Chris into this. So now there's two members uh, inside um, this uh, group that we just created and I can click on add members. Okay, so now they're being added to the group and we're good to go. I can now just um, look at the group settings here and so it's set up by default. Um, and it kind of gives you this pop-up box for the first time that you're kind of going through this. Um, so now you get to choose which group messages you want to see in your inbox. Okay, so I'll get that. If we come here, we have to look at all of these, right? So um, follow it in the inbox, all emails and events, uh, only replies to you and events, only replies to you or no emails and no events. So by default, I would recommend that you select this one here and it stays on there. Um, but if you've got a really busy inbox, you might want to just have something like this where they're replying specifically to you. Um, okay, and that's how you would go about setting up um, a group inside of Microsoft Outlook. It's actually very, very simple to do. Um, and it only takes a, a few minutes depending on how many people you are actually trying to add into um, the group itself. Now, other things that you can do once you have your group is you're able to obviously you know, create emails uh, and all those kind of things to them. So if I click on a new email message here, we now have the ability to email this exact group, right, um, of these two members directly from that email. Um, and this is actually really useful because if you've got really big groups or you want to set up groups of um, colleagues um, and segment them into certain ways, then you can actually dissect down um, and send email communications to those particular groups that you've created. Now, by default, when you have a group that you've created, um, in here, you have a little plus icon next to the name. If you give that plus uh, a click, 
and uh, you'll be presented with this dialog box, which is basically just expanding the list so you can see the individuals, right? Um, so if uh, you expand the list, Outlook will replace the list with its members. Uh, you will not be able to collapse it again. Um, okay, and there you go. So now you can see both people um, are included in the email directly from the group itself. Okay, so they're the ones that are contained inside the group. So if for whatever reason you were a bit curious about knowing who was inside the group and you didn't have the time to kind of go back through the settings and, and look at the members, you could just go in here, type to the group um, and then expand it and you'll see everybody who's inside that group, okay? And then uh, if there's anything that you needed to adjust, go into your settings and adjust the memberships as needed. Now, I can just remove those out um, and type that office guy and you can see how I have um, this this one here, right, it's a test, uh, and I can put it back in just like that. Um, so very, very simple and easy to use. I can actually just send this as a test message. Um, okay, and here is a test. Okay, and then I can send that. Now when I send it, it should actually receive it into that Office Guy private group test message just here. Okay, and obviously we have a message here to say that it is ready um, for use as well. And I can obviously open this up if need, to, need be. Um, and we can see everything that it's talking about here in terms of group, right? So start a conversation, um, add to a team site, um, share files, connect your apps and so forth, right? So very useful stuff. Um, and anyone who's used to using Microsoft Teams will be used to using groups anyway, because um, it is kind of all intersynced together uh, in a roundabout way uh, with how groups work within the Microsoft uh, 365 ecosystem. Um, ultimately, personally, I prefer to lean more on Microsoft Teams than I do on Outlook. But for anyone who's not using uh, Microsoft Teams currently um, and they are still using uh, Microsoft Outlook, then actually creating groups in this way um, is actually a really useful uh, way of connecting colleagues together. Now, um, if you really wanted to, you could obviously connect this up into SharePoint and uh, share files and collaborate in that way as well. Um, and our test message that we just sent is also just here uh, and we can reply very quickly and easily um, in this uh, message as well. So very um, easy to use section for um, messaging uh, in Microsoft Outlook. So um, again, if anyone um, wants to see anything different or you know wants to see uh, different ways of using groups in Microsoft Outlook then do let me know. Um, I just wanted to kind of cover off the basics of how you go about creating a group in Microsoft Outlook um, and some of the functionality that you get in terms of using it in an email um, and maybe to talk about a little bit uh, of the SharePoint side of things but um, Guys, it is as easy as that to um, go about creating uh, new Microsoft Outlook groups, um, adding members into those groups, um, and then using those groups for communications inside a Microsoft Outlook. If you found this video useful, then you know what to do. And with all that said, I will catch you guys in the next video.